Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel. The Apple intelligence brings some of the coolest features to your iPhone. One of those is the cleanup feature that lets you remove distracting objects or objects that you don't like from the background of your photos. But that's not all. Another cool feature built into it is the ability to pixelate people's faces. This is a very useful addition to the cleanup tools especially when you want to share a photo and maintain some level of anonymity. Let me show you how to do it. Just tap on the edit button located at the bottom of the screen and tap on the option clean up located right here. Now just draw a circle around the face, just the face not the head. The Apple intelligence has the capability to recognize the face and pixelate it to match with the background. This will not remove the face or the head. This is so cool. As you can see it has done a great job pixelating the face and making Tom Cruise unrecognizable. You can also undo it after pixelating just by tapping this button right here and you also have a reset button right under the dynamic island. But once you have shared the picture with somebody else he will not be able to undo the pixelation. Once you have done the edits all you need to do is just tap this done button to save the photo. If you go to the info page just by tapping this info button or swiping up the photo you can find right here which says modified with cleanup which means I have used the Apple intelligence feature to edit this photo. Now if you want to revert the photo back to its original form you can tap edit and tap on this option revert at the top right corner on the screen and tap revert to original. This will remove the pixelation. If you are sharing a group photo on social media and you don't want some faces to show you can easily blur them out. This feature gives you more control over your privacy and the privacy of others. So that's all for this video guys thank you for watching if you have any questions please drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel if you like to see more videos on iOS and iPhone updates.